Hey everyone, Rock is George here from the Rock is George podcast and the loudest.com on the planet, knac.com, here with another vinyl unboxing. This time, it's not a rock record, it's a rap record. It's Puff Daddy and the Family's 25th edition, 25th anniversary edition of No Way Out. Uh, before I really got into hard rock and uh, metal. I actually enjoyed hip hop and rap throughout the 90s. I mean, it was very big. It was very popular. P. Diddy, as he goes by now, I believe, or Puffy, or he had a lot of nicknames, was uh, certainly one of the most popular artists in the 90s, or 25 years ago, to be specifically. This album came out shortly after uh, the notorious B.I.G. died. And this was sort of the, the tribute to him. Uh, it includes the Grammy-winning smash, I'll Be Missing You, which samples the police. And all it's all about the Benjamins, which is kind of like an all-star cast. There was even a remix on that one with uh, Rob Zombie and I think Dave Grohl playing drums from the Foo Fighters, if you can uh, search that out. Can't Nobody Hold Me Down, Victory, Been Around the World. A lot of great uh, songs came off this album. I don't know, maybe it was the sampling, or it was the rap style, or it was the kind of all-star ensemble. Everybody sort of had their thing, Biggie and Puffy and uh, Mace. There's the cover again without the plastic. Here's the back. Even the non-single songs were uh, really good on this album. I think every track is good. I really like Victory, which is... Mainly Puffy and uh, Victorious B.I.G., but this is uh, Buster Rhymes is on it, too, that I didn't realize. Um, obviously, a lot of special guests. Little Kim, the locks on It's All About the Benjamins. What happened to him? I haven't heard from him. Uh, Genuine makes an appearance. Twista, Carl Thomas, Foxy Brown, Faith Evans. Uh, this is uh, white-colored vinyl. Looks like there's an insert in there, too. So let's take a look at the vinyl first. Bad Boy Records, obviously run by Puff Daddy, if you didn't know. There's the white vinyl. It's not a creamy white. It's a pure white. That's actually really nice. I like it. It's got the Bad Boy Records logo in the middle. As long as my camera can uh, focus in on that. That is a pretty cool looking vinyl, I think. Now let's see what we have in here for the insert. Oh, no, it's the second album. <laughs> this is a two album, two album LP. Silly me. That's right. Albums were a lot longer in the 90s because they could fit more on a CD. So uh, that's why you got a lot of double albums come from that era. There is an insert. Kind of gives you the details on everything. That's funny, like back in the 70s and 80s, you know, everything fit on one LP. and But it was very short. It's like 30 minutes. And uh, but your band, your favorite bands and acts would come out with a new album um, every year or so. And then the 90s came around, they could pack so much more on a CD and then uh it took like five to ten years before before bands released another album. And, you know, in the 90s and CDs and the pricing and everything, I mean, the, the, the issue there was is you got a lot of crap on there. You got a lot of crap on the CDs. But again, this particular album, No Way Out, every song's good. I can't say I've... I think I've checked out Puff Daddy or P. Diddy... Uh, since this album and they just just weren't as good i think it was like the perfect uh storm of everything for this album and uh great samples uh great rap songs great special guests this is the 25th anniversary edition of puff daddy and the family's no way out you've been great i've been george dion i'll see you again soon